What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. <laughs> What's up? Uh, season 9, episode 14, called Scars. Yeah. This, Mikey, this was a good episode. This was a really good episode. I enjoyed this very much. This is like this is probably one of my favorite episodes in a long time. One of your long... favorite episodes, yeah. But yeah. I, I do have a little bit of issue with it. Mm. Um, but, you know, so, you know... Very briefly, you know, a quick little recap is we have we have we have a present day and a, and a, and a flashback going on. Flashback mm. being the reason behind what's happening in the present day, which is that Daryl shows up at the at Alexandria, and you know Michonne wa doesn't want to help them. You know, on the way they said they're going to go to the hilltop, right? They were going back to the hilltop. I think. They were going to the fair. Yeah, they were going to the fair. So yeah, so they were like, you know, they didn't want to. They, she didn't want to help them, and Judith doesn't understand. And so that all leads to Michonne being like, well, you know, Daryl's like, well, why don't you tell her what happened? And she's like, I can't. I'm not ready. Blah, 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 whatever. Um, so they end up obviously going and help helping them at the end. They, You know, they had that heart to heart. And I'm talking about the present day stuff now because uh, everything else I want to say is, is about the flashback stuff. But I don't know, Mikey, I enjoyed Judith. That actress is she's, phenomenal. She's, she's great. Phenomenal. Yeah, I, she's. <laughs> She's too cute to be in this world, but she can handle herself. And that's, and that's amazing. Like, it's just like mm -hmm. this little, the little voice, the little, the, like, just, she's just this little person, this little person. And she got her shit together. And she's got her shit together. <laughs> and she's got, and she remembered, family. you know, and she remembers a so, lot more than Michonne uh, anticipated. And that, and that was, that's probably my favorite part of this episode is just the, just the heart to hearts. And, and in, with Daryl, um, also, right? Yeah, even yeah, she's sitting with Daryl and they're having a, a kind of conversation of you know, uh, you know, what would my dad do? I'm like, mm -hmm. oh shit, and yeah. but just you know, since we're talking about the present time, I mean, that was some of my favorite moments. Uh, Michonne talking with Negan and kind oh, of right. um, going back and forth about you know how Negan's like I'm a straight shooter, and and Michonne kind of takes she's what like, okay. uh, yeah. yeah. It was it was just such great dialogue and and everything together and and like you said I just love Judith I think she's great she kind of she kind of steals the scenes you know and that was it was touching because I wrote it down at the end um, especially after Judith goes off she has we have we have to protect the people we love Michonne says uh, and we will you know she, after well she Judith, says well when did we stop loving them you know like, when did we stop loving Uncle Daryl, I think she called yeah, him, yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And I think it really hit home. So it was great to see what was what was coming from that, and that's Michonne and and Judith joining and picking up Daryl and Connie. She and realized it finally. Yeah, she yeah. she finally got that realization. And so yeah. the flashback, real, real messed up story. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't okay, expect that at all. I didn't. I dude. Right? I did not at all. So Tara, uh, Tara. Jocelyn being played by yeah. the actress um, who played Tara on True Blood. That's why I just I just keep calling her Tara. It's all um, I because I, I really enjoyed True Blood when it was on. But yeah, dude, she's, in, did, she's in a dark, dark. Did place. not did not see that coming. So but so the story <laughs> itself is messed up. Getting the kids like making them like little warriors, like little. I mean, I get it. But at the same time, it was too like it was like I mean, in her like. It was like, all right, lady, relax. You know, like you're 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 a maniac right now. Like that's too much. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. here's my issue with it, though. Yeah. The whole branding thing, it just doesn't seem to fit. Like, what's the point? I get you're training kids to be. Mo yeah, she's molding them. But like, and that's fine. Like she's that's brainwashing fine. them, and she's seeing who's a little bit more. The one kid that branded Daryl seemed to go be right for it. Is that is that what the whole point is? Because maybe I, think, I just yeah, didn't get it. Let's see what these kids are made of, kind of a thing. I think the second maybe. kid right. was the second kid that Michonne obviously. Well, that's the one she could from, sway, yeah. And he and he and she takes off. I think it was a little girl actually. Like she had, she seemed to have to be pushed a little bit more. There was still something um, a, a child inside that that kid. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of crazy, and especially how. Jocelyn talks about how she was with a, another group of parents and and um, I forgot exactly what she said happened to them. But 
I'm kind of getting the idea that maybe she took them out just to steal like these kids. Obviously, that's her. There's her only mo- like her and like a and couple other her. adults with these. It kids. was like yeah, and those kids. It wasn't even like super like adults. I think the, the kid looked like he might be like in his late early twenties or something. Like, yeah, he wasn't something even like, like yeah that. that old. And 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 the other thing too is Michonne got messed up. Yeah, dude. We, I was like, we like <laughs> my wife and I watching it, and when she gets hit and then sliced, and I was like, oh shit, like yeah. damn it. You know, yeah, obviously was... everything was fine. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. thought they were going to make a little bit, you know, like maybe it caused for something like, you know, RJ had, you know, a rough birth or he was born preemie or something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, she looked like ready to pop anyway, but the, yeah, I just, <laughs> I did kind of silly, but I also enjoyed her, how she was, how she was shuffling around, holding her belly, like trying to run fast. Like, yeah. yeah and the kids were just out, right. You know, it was just, it was just funny, but I mean, yeah. So, I, I'm okay. So all right. So maybe now that you put that in my head, like they were branding them to to see she could see, that makes a little more sense because otherwise I'm like, what the hell was the point of doing any of that? You know. But I mean, yeah. pretty sick, pretty sick, pretty crazy side story. I mm. really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed. Give us an action packed yeah. sick side story. That's what I want to see. That's what you yeah. want to see. You know. That would have made that would have been like a side comic. You know what I'm saying? Like a one off. Right. Um, in in the middle of issues or something, you know, it was it was um, especially interesting um, after uh, initially Jocelyn came in and everything was kind of honky dory and they were having their sleepovers and they were around the campfire and joking around and all this kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, I forgot the 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 one character that was also looking for the children um, when when initially they were kidnapped. The dad. I right? thought that was I that thought dude. that was a great story. Because it made me, all right, what happened? Obviously, we know in the future, in the present, that Judith is is home in Alexandria. Yeah. So it made me really want to get excited for the buildup of what happened. What was and going then, on, yeah. Yeah, and obviously we find out. And it was, yeah, it was, ugh, dude, I can't say it again. I mean, it was one of my favorite episodes, really, of uh, of the show. I mean, it's up there. It was yeah. Up there. It was definitely good. Again, led by Michonne, led by you know uh, Judith. Um, again, you know, without it gave Rick, us so much. It gave this, us so much. This is, I mean, these actors. You know, even Daryl. Like, you know, we didn't, we didn't, you know, we didn't talk about them searching for Rick, and and she. It just shows her searching and searching and searching, and yeah. they just. And Daryl says he's like, I'm not gonna ever stop. He goes, she's like, yeah. when are you going to come back? When are you going to come home? And he's like, I'm not until I find him. Like, I'm not, I'm not coming back. You that know? could be, a, that could be a good leeway of how Michonne, because now we know Michonne is supposed to be leaving the show. Maybe we'll see that. Maybe Michonne will say, yeah. you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go find Rick, yeah. which I'm probably will be most disappointed when Michonne leaves, because I love, like, who's going to take care of Judith? Like, well, not only that, it's like, <laughs> Now you get into a point where so Michonne is carrying half the show. Denai yeah. is like carrying half that show. I mean, they're all I feel like most of I feel like everyone's got the show equally right now. Like Ezekiel and Carol. Like I'm interested in watching what everyone's doing. Like I even mm-hmm. Tara. You know, I've I've grown to really like Tara. I think she's played really, really well. Um, you know, and, and I'm actually enjoying these things. Um yeah. but you know, when if if, you know, Michelle, you know, she leaves the show, like, where does that where is that going to leave the show? Like, what's going to like, I don't at that point, it's like, all right, now I don't know. Like, we worried about yeah. Rick leaving. You know what? It's fine. Rick, you were kind of annoying. We love you. We love <laughs> you, Angel Lincoln. But you know what? The character got a little too, you know, he started insisting upon himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was like, oh, OK, here we go. It's another Rick, another Rick thing. Um, but still, you know, I don't know. So we'll see what happens, but you know, it's, um, this was a good episode. This was really, yeah. good. this is good yeah. stuff. And you know, just going off of what you were talking about, Rick, it's for the longest time, it was him. He was the leader. We knew that everybody knew that. Even though, yeah. Um, now it's like you said, it's spread out. Everybody's it's carrying the weight of the that kingdom. Show. And yeah, you know, and, and I think that's great. Um, the flashback also in this episode really gave us a, all the backstory of why, you know, Michonne wasn't communicating with the other groups just because she wanted to protect RJ. She wants to protect Judith. She wants to protect Alexandria. And, and it all came together. So mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that stuff. It gave us what we've, all those, all those answers to the questions we were asking for 
a while now about why everybody hasn't been communicating all the groups that we it's been a couple you know, of years now right yeah yeah it's been a long time so it's cool for that it's cool for the, like you said with the rick and and them searching for the rick stuff i heard a cool little theory mm-hmm. um uh that that that's that's rolling around about how obviously in the fair and in the comic books this happens um there's like it's a, it's like a trade thing there's sales people trade they barter whatever they right. do um, and there were some shots of, uh, Eugene and he had like, it looked like an old antenna and he had like a radio box or something. And some people were theorizing that he actually gets in contact with Rick through the radio. And that gives, you know, I don't know if they'll necessarily communicate back and forth. Like, Hey, it's me again, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe we'll kind of get glimpses of episode three of the first season when Rick is traveling into Alex, into Atlanta and remember that his wife and everybody and Shane heard him on the radio mm-hmm. and they couldn't communicate, but you knew they were going back and forth. So there's a little theory going around that maybe you'll hear Rick's voice on one of these radios and these telegraph things or whatever, whatever it is. And that's what makes Michonne kind of okay. take go off at. and go after him so, and setting up I the mean, movies. Yeah. It would be cool even though, cause he had Andrew Lincoln did say his, 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 Days with you know, of being Rick Grimes is not over, so even though we might not see him, maybe we'll hear him. So I think that would kind of be interesting for me. All right, yeah, I I I could see that. I might I kind of agree with that. I think that might be something good. Yeah. Um. All right. So I guess that's it for this episode. Uh, scars, obviously yes, multiple meanings 14. there, physically, you know, uh, uh, literally and figuratively. Yeah. Um. Good, good stuff. I really did enjoy this. I think there's yeah, only two favorites. episodes left at this point. Yep. Yep. Uh, so yeah. So we'll see what's going on. You know, uh, Mikey. Uh, you know, let's uh, wrap it up, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's wrap it up. Of course. Let us know what you guys thought of these episode scars in the comment section below. Check us out at thirdpersonpod.com if you want to get to us from uh, Google, any of those kind of search uh, search engines. Check us out at Third Person on Instagram and on Twitter. You can have a listen to us or watch us as well on iTunes. That's Check right. us out. That's right. So, yeah, get those comments in. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Where get any theories. We can talk about them. Uh, any theories that you guys think of or yeah, you guys seen. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, check out Into the Badlands. It's coming back. Uh, yes. We've got excited. a lot of content. Uh, there should be a video um, over here. Should be over here somewhere. Maybe up there. I don't know. I put it somewhere. Anyway, check it out. Uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, go check out all that content. That's good stuff. That's it. We'll see you for the next episode of Walking Dead. Good night.